now to the search for answers and identities after two women turned up dead in two different New York City neighborhoods. One of them found completely naked next to a trash compactor in Harlem. The other stuffed in a bin steps away from a community garden in the Bronx. And that's where News Force Melissa Colorado joins us live tonight. Melissa, no indication these cases are connected. Now, David, different locations, different set of circumstances. But in the case here in the Bronx, a plastic bin carrying a woman's decomposing body left right there, right behind me, right next to that white fence you see right there until someone today was curious enough to take a look inside. Oh my God, they're killing people in our neighborhood. This green walkway in the Wakefield neighborhood of the Bronx became the dumping ground for a woman's body stuffed in a beige storage container. Early Friday afternoon, a person dials 911 when they came upon this plastic container dumped on the far edge of Edson Avenue, a dead end street. A woman's partially decomposing body found inside the bin, discarded feet away from a community garden. How long was that body left there? Since Monday, says Veronica Bostic, who lives next to the neighborhood pathway. I was frightened because I saw it Monday, the, the container, but I didn't know something was in there. James Washington noticed the bin earlier this week, too. I seen the bin right there, and I was walking through to the park with my girlfriend, and I kicked it, and it felt heavy. I was going to come back and open it, but I didn't open it. Yeah, I was just very surprised because in the three years that I lived here, I've never... We've never come across that, like dead bodies in that path. Earlier Friday morning in East Harlem, another chilling discovery. This time, a woman's body found naked in the second floor trash compactor room of this apartment building on 126th Street. Nobody knows who she is. She don't live here. Was that an overdose or something? All I gotta do is pray for her. Residents calling for beefed up security before something else happens, steps away from their apartment doors. Something must be done and it has to be addressed before somebody else gets hurt. And the medical examiner will determine how these two women died and whether or not criminality was involved in both of these cases. That's latest here in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. I'm Melissa Colorado, News 4 New York. All right, Melissa, thank you. That's where it stands tonight.